continue on here I went to also do a brief intermission and talk about this topic which I thought was absolutely heartbreaking um, this is courtesy of Guardian it says the following former trailblazers player and gentle soul Caleb Swanigan dies at age 25 25 years old is no age to be dying man 25 of natural causes is absolutely bizarre to say the least and if you're wondering oh I recognize this guy where did I recognize it from there was this viral um comment that went vi I think sometimes during lockdown I think I'm pretty sure this was maybe during lockdown it was a viral meme or comment that went around um shared by an account called cross sports where they basically featured the kid um and the the meme basically says, "How the hell did did you go? Did you do you go from? How the hell does one go from this to that in one year?" And I'm pretty sure this is around the pandemic lockdown times, and everyone's gaining pandemic weight and all that sort of stuff, right? And kind of taking the piss out of him, looking one way and super athletic and ripped when he was playing, you know, basketball professionally, and obviously post basketball career looking a little bit overweight. And um, the caption says, "For those who don't know him, Caleb Swanigan was drafted in 26 overall and even played in the NBA just last season. Hope he's all right." Yeah. And then Damian Lillard said the following. Uh, he's a you know a current basketball player. He said, "If you're going to if you're going to post this shit with real concern, that's cool. But don't ask how does one go from this to that. Of course, because the meme is mocking him, right? Um, he clearly having real life issues. That's how you don't know what it is he's going through because a drastic change. Um, if you're gonna be supportive, then do that." But don't ask no shit like that. Um, like it's not possible when you naturally a big dude and go down the dark road, of course. So clearly showing some concern for him when everyone was taking a piss out of him. And only a couple of years later, he's now wound up dead. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely tra tragic. The article says as following, um, kind of so Caleb Swanigan, who played for the NBA in the Portland Trailblazers and Sacramento Kings has died at age 25. The Allen County Coroner's Office confirmed the local news outlet that Swanigan had died of natural causes. Our thoughts and prayers with Caleb's family and friends and the world has lost a gentle soul um, last night. Love you, Biggie, wrote Purdue, his college team on Twitter. And obviously there's a tribute there for him. Swanigan had an unsettled childhood and spent most of his time in homeless shelters before he was adopted by a former Detroit Lions star turned basketball agent, Roosevelt Barnes. Swanigan had struggled with his weight growing up and weighed 360 pounds as a 36-year-old, 13-year-old. Wow. He's a huge boy, but Barnes encouraged him to pursue his talent as a basketball player. And by the time he finished high school, he was six foot nine and two sixty pounds. He made him lose a hundred pounds. Wow, amazing! He went on to attend Barnes Alama Mata Purdue and was selected as a twenty six overall pick. Alongside his basketball career at Purdue, Swanigan was an excellent student and graduate diploma in educational history. This is even more tragic. Work ethic and patterns were unmatched, wrote his former teammate Ryan Klein. No one was in the ballpark as the same as dude. So much fun to be around, my boy forever fly high. I wonder for for, for those of you guys who aren't um for those of you guys who are basketball fans more than I am, because I don't really know basketball too tough. Um again, R.I.P. to Caleb Swanigan. Um, what's the deal with him? Why did he end up having to retire at such a young age anyway? Because if he died at 25 and that picture of him went viral or was a meme during lockdown, what year was that? I don't know what, the, let's say 2021, right? A couple of years ago. So he must have retired or he must have left the NF, the, the NBA, sorry, like what, age 22, 23 or something? That's crazy. What happened to him? Was it an injury or something? Like, what was the case? absolutely tragic man really 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 is tragic um and goes to show what people are going through on a daily basis and you don't really know what they're going through behind closed doors you know what i mean sometimes being a little bit compassionate and stuff is really the name of the game but uh, hearing somebody dying of natural causes at the age of 25 is just wild to me it kind of reminds me a little bit of um ralphie may when i first found out about ralphie may no when ralphie may sorry when he passed away is the first time i found about um the cause of death being a uh, broken heart syndrome like people legitimately die like just from you know um essentially losing a partner or a divorce or you know like a kid passing away or something like that and that's essentially what they're saying ralphie may that died from because he was a you know incredibly 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 obese but he was still um what you would call it but he was still obviously alive for a very long time so it wasn't the fact that it was a his obesity killed him actually it's the fact that he was somewhat you know distraught about what was going on in his like relationship life and whatnot man it's absolutely tragic really really, really tragic um but yeah uh big up caleb swanigan um r.i.p to him really man absolutely tragic situation i don't even know, you know what i mean what more can you say about stuff like that what more can you say about stuff like that 
moving on quickly, we have to talk about this. Uh, oh, no, what's someone saying here? Um, Querve saying, sometimes NBA players just don't do well in their first year or two and go down the D-League, and then they get stemmed even more down and they end up just kind of disappear from the sport. Okay, so is the D-League a real big dip? Is, it, is the D-League a real big um, downgrade from the NBA? Like, because I know in, in England we have the we have Premier League football, obviously, right? But the standard of football is really high still, and you still get paid quite a lot. So even if you don't make it playing in professional football in a Premier League team, you can still make a you can still have a pretty decent career playing in a Championship, playing in League One, playing in League Two, even. Do you know what I mean those three divisions underneath the Premier League are still pretty competitive? They play they play pretty well too. You don't have to work a second job or anything. You're fairly, I wouldn't say famous, but you're probably well known in your local area and stuff. If if you're good enough to play for a foreign country, you can still probably play for an international team. I wonder if it's the same with basketball or is the D League really, really, really bad compared to the NBA to a point where like it's not even worth it. 